Anushka Sharma, and I'm in eighth grade in the upper school. I came to Chapin in fourth grade, so I was around the same age as a lot of you guys when I came here. I'm joining you guys today to talk about my book called Hidden in Plain Sight. Hidden in Plain Sight is a collection of poems that I've written starting from when I was just eight years old, along with photographs that I've taken over the past two years. I hope that you all learned from my visit today that poetry is something you all can try and enjoy just like me. Today, I will be sharing three poems that are featured in my book. I would like to begin with a poem called My Escape. It's the music that I turn to. Not the people, not the places, no. It's the music. It brings me silence in its volume. It drowns everything out. The clicking of pens, the clatter of keyboards, the laughter of children, the shrieks of pain, the scratches of a chalkboard, the soft, faint sound of breath. I turn to the music when the pain in my heart is too loud for my ears. So when the places disappear and the people run away, it's the music that lifts me up and carries me to a place where my heart hums a tranquil tune. Most of you probably have an activity or a hobby in or outside of school that you love and enjoy. For me, it's music, and my love for music is what inspired this poem. Which brings me to a question people always ask me. What inspires you to write poetry? To tell the truth, there is no one answer. For me, poetry can be inspired by absolutely anything. Most of the time, I take situations or simple parts of a day at school or everyday life and describe them to create a poem. Other times, I'll simply describe a beautiful scene, like things like a beach on vacation or just a rainbow after a thunderstorm. Most of the time, however, my poems are inspired by difficult situations, like disputes with friends or really anything that might be annoying i found that usually the topics you would least expect to create a poem from end up becoming the best ones. So when writing poetry, any topic is fair game. Also, writing poetry is a very unpredictable process. What I mean by this is, good ideas can come at any random time. Which is why many of the poems in my book were collected from several different notebooks. Like this one. Or Google documents, loose papers, or even just paper napkins. Overall, ideas can come from anywhere at any time. Then it's all just a matter of letting those ideas flow. I would now like to share another poem. This one is called A Land of Home. Some days can be tough. You just want to cry. You're drenched in a puddle of sadness, but you don't know why. For some reason, the window of hope is closed. How to open it, no one really knows. But the puddle only grows into a river, then an ocean. You find yourself floating atop a, tide, atop a tide of tears. But suddenly the sadness becomes shallow. You reach land, a land of laughter, a land of love, a land of hope. So right now, some of you are probably thinking, okay, she writes poetry, but how did she write a book? So I'll tell you this story from the very beginning. When I was around just eight years old, I developed an interest in songwriting. I don't exactly remember why or what got me into it, but I just knew I wanted to start writing. Eventually I realized that I wasn't really writing songs, but I was writing poetry. The poem Sunshine, the first poem in my book, was one of the first poems I ever wrote. I remember showing it to my mom and she loved it. So my mom was really the first person who encouraged me to keep writing. So I kept writing poems and showing them to her, and even though I didn't think they were very good, she loved them. And she would keep all of them saved on her phone. Over time, my mom developed a collection of my poems on her phone, which I think she still has today. I never understood why she wanted my poems on her phone, but she told me that she would read them whenever she was feeling sad, because my words made her happy. So as my writing became better and better, the more I would share with my mom, but I would also share it with close friends or teachers as I became more comfortable. And actually, my mom was the one who introduced the idea of publishing a book. She told me that my poems were really amazing and that I, would, I should share them with more people. So eventually, my dad found a publisher who really liked my poems, and after many back and forth emails, edits, and revisions, I can finally say that I am a published poet. Another thing some of you are probably wondering is what is that picture on the front? As I mentioned, my book also features some photos I've recently taken. Only last year was when I became interested in photography and I won a Scholastic Art Award for that picture on the front. The picture was titled Hidden in Plain Sight, long before the book was underway. It was my parents' idea to give the book that same title. 
So I really have to thank my parents, especially my mom, because they're the reason why this book exists. Which brings me to the last poem I would like to share with you all today. This poem is called Dear Mom and Dad, and I'm sure all of you guys will be able to relate to it. Dear Mom and Dad, I really hope you know how much I care, even though some days that might not seem true. And even on those days when you want to pull out your hair, just remember that I'll always love you. Or even the days when you feel like life is unfair, or when you're sad and you don't know why. Just remember I'll always be there to wipe every tear when you cry. And yes, there are days when I misbehave and I drive you crazy too. But just remember that in every which way, I'll always love you. <coughs> to conclude, I would like all of you guys to know that writing poetry doesn't take a certain skill set or ability. All it takes is an imagination. Poetry can come from anywhere or any part of your life. I encourage all of you to write, even if it's not poetry or something you want to show people. Just write how you feel, write your thoughts, express yourself, and you'll really enjoy it.